Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam, and today we're here with how to validate a mobile phone number, more specifically for the UK, but don't worry, this code will work for other countries because you just need to slightly tweak some numbers and then this works. For instance, 07 might not be how you start a mobile phone number in your country, or maybe your country has a different length for your phone number. I don't know, but you can slightly tweak this, and I'll show you how to. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we're going to have a variable called phone input. It's going to be equal to a phone number that I have provided. If this is your number, I am very sorry. But it probably isn't, because I actually just typed random stuff on my keyboard. And this variable is going to represent user input. Now this tutorial is not going to show you how you get user input. This tutorial is just showing you how to validate that user input. So that's a minor disclaimer for this tutorial. Then we're going to have a print statement. We're going to do print. And whatever's inside the print brackets will be printed. So we're going to do val phone. And then we're going to pass in phone input. So it's going to print whatever the this function returns. So let's go and define that function. So we have got a function. So we do def valvone, then we pass in number. So what's going on here? Well, basically def is short for define. We put this at the start of our function definitions. Valvone is the name of the function. It's what we're going to type when we want to call the function. Number is going to be the one parameter we pass into this function and it's going to store the value of a phone number we wish to validate. So, there are two things we're going to do for this validation. Firstly, we're going to check the length of our phone number. If you want to see a bunch of length check tutorials, click the eye up in the corner, we've got four of them. And we're going to do if len number equals 11. So, len just gets the length of whatever you pass in. So it's going to get the length of our phone number we wish to validate. And if it's equal to 11, then so far it's on the track to being a valid phone number. Because in the UK our mobile phone numbers, including 0 and 7, are 11 characters long. Or 11 digits, I should say, because we only have numbers in them and not letters or de decimal points or whatever. If it's not equal to 11, there's no point continuing the check because no matter how good the contents of that number are, it can't be valid because it's not 11 digits long. So we do an else statement and we return false because it's not valid. So where we call this function, it will be false and it will print false. But let's say the length is equal to 11. So far, it's on the right track. So we're going to do a return statement. So whatever the output of this line is, it's going to be returned to where we called the function. And we're going to do number 0 equals 0, and number 1 equals 7, and number dot is digit. So let's go into what these three statements mean. Firstly, a bit of Boolean algebra for you. If we have a bunch of Boolean statements, if, if we have an AND statement, both statements or all statements have to be true for the overall outcome to be true. If at least one is false, then the whole thing becomes false. So when validating this phone number, we need the first digit to be zero. We need the second digit to be equal to seven, and we need the entire number to be made up of digits. All these three things are separate statements. All three need to be true for this phone number to be valid. If let's say we have O and seven at the start, but Let's say we have the letter A as our final digit. These two become true, but this becomes false, and therefore the overall outcome of this Boolean algebra is going to be a false, because we got a true and a true and a false, and that makes a false overall. Therefore, the phone number is false. Think of it this way. If we put an A in our phone number, it can't be valid, regardless of if it's the correct length and it starts with the, f the right characters or digits. It just can't be valid. Think of it like that. So let's go into what's going on. So with number, this is going, this is our string and we can reference a certain character or string within that string 
by just doing uh, two square brackets and a index or a number. Zero is the first one because it's programming and indexes can't match up with English language, which, you know, when we say first, we think of number one, but nope, in programming arrays, it's zero. Way to confuse people. And we can do double equals and zero in speech marks to check if the first character or first digit is equal to zero. Then number one in the square brackets equal to seven. We're checking the second digit of this phone number to make sure it's equal to seven. That makes, hopefully that makes sense. And then number dot is digit is going to return a true or false, depending on if what we pass in is only consists of digits. If there's an exclamation mark in there, it's not a digit, it returns false. If there's an A in there somewhere, it returns false because it's not a digit. If there are only numbers, it's a true because it consists of digits. And that's basically it for this tutorial. And then in the print statement, we do val phone, which is the name of our function. We pass in phone input because that's the number we want to validate. So let's save our work, make sure your code is indented properly, and then hit play or start. It's true because 11 characters long, starts with an O, and then has a 7 after VO. That's valid. Let's make it an extra character long. Save the work and hit play. It's false because the length is not equal to 11, so it's invalid. Let's make the length 10 just to double check it all works. It's false because 10 is not equal to 11. Let's put an A in there instead of the one at the end. It's false because an A is not a digit. Let's put in an exclamation mark instead. It's false because an exclamation mark is not a digit. Let's put a 1 back there, but we're going to put a 1 instead of a 7. It's false because this statement becomes false now. Let's put a 7 back, but we're going to start it with a 1. It returns a false because it needs to start with a 0. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you want to see more Python validation tutorials, be sure to, to subscribe. And just if you're curious, you can obviously change these statements to match the phone number format of your country or of the users you expect your application to have. Thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.